bit of West Ham news and gossip today. Very much a mishmash of injury news, transfer rumours and a little look ahead, obviously, to the big game. Is it only two more sleeps? I think my old man actually texted me and said, only two more sleeps, which it would be, wouldn't it? Tuesday night, Wednesday night. He's right, it is only two more sleeps. Uh, now, let's get to Mikel Antonio, first of all here. There were rumours around last night. He was out for months, weeks. Maybe it was weeks. Weeks, miles, months. Long time. Doesn't matter. Um... Now there's a suggestion going round that he's 50-50 for the game. Now, um, myself and Gio recorded the preview yesterday, because Gio is at Cheltenham today, so we recorded the preview ahead of the Sevilla game, so I won't sort of preempt that uh, too much. However, however, um, I, I, I said in the preview that, that I probably would have started Yarmolenko or, you know, featured Yarmolenko, because I, I thought... In a centre-forward capacity, as you'll remember from yesterday, I thought he was just a little bit more natural in his forward movements, a little bit more predatory, let's say, than Antonio had been. Uh, so, um, not that Antonio wouldn't have featured. I'll, I'll leave the rest to the preview. However, even with that in mind, I don't think we can continue to hemorrhage in players. Yes, yesterday, I praised the fact that regardless of who the team seems to be on the pitch, we put in a good performance. We put in a resilient, we might not even be, we might not always threaten, but we're resilient, we keep the match very, very tight. Whilst I believe that to be true, I don't think we can continue to go through hemorrhaging and losing players. Um, Bowen is a loss, Cresswell would be a loss, Antonio would be a loss. Ideally, you have those players available. If Antonio's 50-50, I mean, I, I certainly welcome that a whole lot more than him not featuring at all. Um, we're going to need to score goals. And it's not something we've done to brilliant effect recently. But you do get the impression ahead of this game that um, the Suchek's been sneaking more into those sort of positions. So we're certainly going to need to sort our crossing out. Uh, if we're, What we're going to do is get him in the box more uh, and try and dominate in the air. I think if they are going to sit back, that's become a big feature of it. So let's, let's hope the news on Cresswell, which looks like... He might be available. Let's hope that's that's accurate. Um, anyway, it's all rumours at the moment. Nobody uh, really knows. In terms of a bit of transfer tittle-tattle, this one is doing the rounds everywhere. And there are numerous stories. And it's um, it's not in a Forest defender, Joe Worrell. Look, we've been linked with him before. And... So, as you know, sometimes I think transfer rumours come up. I think, no, I don't think that's the case. Sometimes they come up. I think, yeah, I can see that. Having watched him play, he's very dominant, very dominant in the air. In many respects, I'd sort of look at him and think he's um, a sort of younger, a, a bit more mobile version of Craig Dawson. So I look at him, he's from the championship as well. So it's not just block Moyes likes players from the championship. I think Moyes likes... If he can, he'll get English-based players because they don't take uh, time to settle. Then yesterday, he was doing a press conference, Joe Worrell, and then I sort of got it. Thought, ah, right, OK, he's a leader. He spoke really, really well. He was speaking about the stuff that they were doing to get stuff out there for the Ukraine and whatnot. Uh, Nottingham Forest, this is um, very impressive to hear him talk. And actually, we do like a leader. You look at these players on the pitch. Uh, I noticed there was um, uh, against... Against Villa, I noticed Suchek was was well involved in that. He was he was talking a lot. He was dictating a lot. Um, noticed a lot of leadership qualities when there were no fans in the ground. You could hear the players talking. Oh, bon, I didn't realise he spoke as much as he did. Clearly, Declan Rice a leader. Dawson absolutely is a leader. Obviously, it goes without saying that Noble's a leader. And also, I think you see quite a lot of that from Cresswell. Of course, you've got Yarmolenko, who's captain of the team. You get the idea. David Moyes likes a lot of leaders, likes a lot of characters in that dressing room. And that's why I think... We we do what what we do, you know. I think that's why we're resilient and we're sometimes better than the sum of our parts, certainly. So I can believe this one, uh, Joe Worrell, very dominant in the air as well. So, yeah, it makes you think that, that you know, you could sort of believe um, that. There's, a, there's, there's, a, there's an unfortunate article, which I'm not going to read, about Dean Garner, I've got to say. Um, I'm, I feel a bit sorry for Dean Garner. How can you not? He's come through the West Ham Academy. Uh, good guy, absolutely. And, um, yeah, it's, it's a shame it's not worked out for him. Probably the um, the worst kept secret in football. Well, not the worst kept secret. It's not really like it's a secret. But the most predictable of transfers. And it's something 
you know, I, I didn't, I've got no inside knowledge, not in the no, far from it. But as, as you'll know, if you watch this channel regularly, it was quite obvious from day one, when I, as I said it, that the crowd wasn't going to be a permanent fixture for West Ham. And uh, Lethal was Areola, and it now looks like this um, Sam Johnston free transfer is, is going to happen. West Brom keeper, what's he, probably third choice for England, running his contract down. I know there's a few, I read the comments every time I mention him, there's a few on here who say, no, don't do it, he's crap. Not seen enough of him. Um, in fact, I, actually, I remember when we played West Brom, must, must have been last season, he was awful. He really was awful. Uh, but I'm not going to judge someone on one game other people say he's no good. All I'm, I'm just, I, I'm literally just, uh, just reading the report here, um, and it says room for him. I think it's again, it's totally predictable. He's on a free. Why wouldn't we? I doubt very much that will be the only free transfer that we go for. By the way, um, no, that's uh, there's, there's going to be there's going to be a lot more than that because there's going to be an awful lot more available. Before, before I get on to uh, uh, to Declan Rice and uh, and somebody else. By the way, this video, of course, is sponsored. By the One Football app, as you know by now, you know you know the drill. You can download it by using the link below. Why use the One Football app? It's a good app. I always tell you that you can put all the West Ham news together on it, and it does it all for you, so you don't have to filter it out for all these generic Premier League websites. But aside from the West Ham stuff, it is a really, really good website. If you, like me, have only got a, a limited amount of time to start looking at the other um, Premier League news, like yesterday's game, I didn't get to watch the um, Crystal Palace and Man City game. It does condense all the Premier League news, gives you a little little, little quick refresh. It's a very modern way to look at football and sort, uh, and very good. As I say, you can actually tailor it and get rid of the, the teams that you don't want to hear about very, very easily. Use the link below or that QR code just up there. Um... Another thing that's very predictable, you know, a lot of people are trotting this stuff out as news now. Um, it was quite clear from the moment Abramovich made his statement um, that uh, that he was. Well, well, do you know that first statement? I came on, I did the video, and it was quite obvious from then that there was no Declan Rice uh, Chelsea transfer. Now people are starting to see quite a muddle that Chelsea are in. And I know every time I mention this, people say, oh, someone's going to come in and, and someone's going to buy them and it'll all be fine. I think it's anything but fine. I would I would be absolutely gobsmacked if anyone came in and said, here, here's a few billion quid. And by the way, um, we're going to sort out a mess. We're going to sort back your deficit. Oh, it is another 100 million. Um, if what you're looking at are investors, when I say another 100 million, it is another 100 million plus for Declan Rice. If what you're looking at is investors. They're there for one reason, to make an investment. I think of two that haven't been. And the Bramovich was one of those. And the other one, um, the Abu Dhabi. Um, uh, Sheikh Mansour, isn't it? Uh, uh, from Abu Dhabi, up at Man City. So, uh, by and large, people want a return on their investment. Even Liverpool, the Fenway group, they want a return. Glazers, they want a return. Uh, Liverpool, um, Arsenal fans have been moaning for years that uh, Kroenke doesn't spend enough money, that he siphons off a bit of money. It's an investment, OK? And if you make an investment, you're going to be looking at Chelsea because of the glory? No. You're going to be looking at it thinking, OK, I can buy that. If I can keep a mixing in and around the top level, then I can start to... We, it's, it's, it's an investment. I want to return on it. I think that's gone. People are now reporting it as, as fact. I don't think it's fact. It's just bloody obvious, isn't it, really? So, um, much like the uh, much like the Areola, much, much like the Crow stuff, I just think it's um, it's likely to happen. Um, lots of talk, again, you know, lots, lots of talk about uh, departures from West Ham. Um, Arthur Masuaka and Ryan Fredericks. Oh, really? Um, that's from a, a website called Court Offside. Um, we've been linked with someone called John Egan, Sheffield United. I, this one I don't believe. I look at it. Um, he's 29 years of age, and for that reason, I just think no, it's just not going to happen. I, I really don't. I really don't think so. Sometimes it's just bleeding obvious, isn't it? Somebody else here again. We keep getting linked to him. Brennan Johnson at Nottingham Forest. Um, now. I don't know. There's an easy link with Nottingham Forest at the moment. Is where we do business with Nottingham Forest, and that is because Nottingham Forest um, are on our young left back Longello, who we think a lot of us think is a good prospect. Um, I suspect, I suspect Moyes doesn't share that. That's all I'm saying. I'm not giving my opinion on it. I, I thought he played really well when we saw him play play in Europe. I, honestly, I thought he was the second best of our players in that game. I thought at least they just shaded it, but uh, I thought he was the second best player uh, for us in that game. Um, 
But I do think, bearing in mind, we've had serious left-back issues this season. And even on one of them, I mean, when Crespel was out and Masuaku was out, uh, Longello wasn't even on the bench. And you can have like a million people on the bench now, can't you? I think that pretty much said it. Um, Nottingham Forest want him. It's an easy link to make. Will we hand him in exchange with some cash for Joe Worrell? Will we do that for Brennan Johnson? Uh, I don't know. How much truth is in it? Who knows? Who knows? Um, but I do think that there is definitely an interest from us in um, in Worrell. I do think we need a left winger. I really do. I've said it for some time now. Um, whether whether he's best deployed, I'm talking about Brennan Johnson here, whether he's best deployed on the left. You can't tell now. Some managers like a player that cuts in on his on his weaker foot. Some Gone are the days when you had, um, I think, majority of the time, you had a left-footed left winger and a right-footed right winger. They like a bit of cutting in now. The inverted winger, I believe, I believe it's called. Anyway, all of that doesn't really matter at the moment. I'm, I'm, doing, the, I'm doing the news roundup because it's a news roundup. But um, it's all about Thursday, my friends. It's all about Thursday. I cannot wait. Anyway, I don't want to talk too much about it because we've done the preview. Uh, give that a watch. I'm sure uh, that will be um, released today as long as Gio, has, um, Gio remembers to press to uh, to list it. We recorded it yesterday, but he's, he's got a busy day. He's at the uh, he's at the GGs today, so um, he's been looking forward to that. So he, he might he might return. He might. You know, he's very good at betting, don't you? He? he might return a millionaire, others. You never know. Anyway, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. <laughs>